All right, guys, so we're going to start our first project, and it's going to be a small hotel website called Hotel BT or HBT. And we're going to be using everything that we've learned up to this point. So everything from the HTML and the CSS sandbox. I'm not going to throw in any extra technologies like the grid system or, or media queries to make it responsive. I only want to deal with stuff we've already learned. Once we learn that other stuff, then we'll build projects using that other stuff. Okay, so um, if any of you guys are, are more experienced and you're saying, oh, why didn't you use CSS grid for this? Because we haven't learned that yet. Okay. Uh, now, notice there are some background images in this project. There will be in this lecture, in the downloads, a zip file called image resources, and it's going to have all the, the images that are included in this project. And where I usually get my images is pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com, and there's tons of free, really, really high quality stock images. Uh, so what I did is I just searched for hotel and I found my images here. And if you click on one, you can download different sizes. So it's a, it's a great resource. It's completely free. And the photos are, are just as high quality as uh, as uh, premium photos are. So let's take a look at the project. So up top we have a, a navigation bar. We have a logo. We're just using an H1 here, but you could easily use an image if you wanted. We have a home about contact with a background hover effect. And whatever the current page is, is also going to have the, the background. Then we have a showcase area with a background image. Now this background image I did open up in Photoshop and I faded it a little bit just so that we, the text was more readable. Now you can do this with just CSS, but we haven't gone over that yet. So that's something we'll do in another project. Uh, but for now, we're just going to use the faded out image. Okay, so we have some text on this. We have a link formatted as a button. Then down here we have some floated boxes. We have an image, we have some text here. And then here we have three boxes with some icons. Now we haven't gone over icons yet. And the way that we're using these is with a third party service called Font Awesome, which is really awesome. And it's very popular, it's used all the time. Um, and basically all we have to do is include their style sheet, their CSS, and we can just add classes to elements and we can get these cool looking icons and we can actually resize them with certain classes and so on. All right, so we'll do that. And then we have a simple footer with a copyright. And then on the about page, we have some text. We have an image rounded with border radius. And then we have a background image with some testimonials where we float the images in the text. And then on the contact page, we have a form that we're going to style and then some icons down here with location, phone number and address. Now, as I've said before, you can't have a contact form work with just HTML. You need to have some kind of server side language like PHP or something like that, which is beyond the scope of this course. Now, at the end of this course, I may include a video or a reference to a video where um, you can you know I'll show you how to use a PHP script or something like that to submit a contact form uh, but just just know that the submission of a form is out of the scope of this course okay so those are the three pages that we'll be creating now it's this site is not completely responsive you'll see if I go down really small I mean it looks okay as far as the menu and this here this even looks okay This should actually be stacked and not in three rows. I think they're too narrow, um, but we're not going to do that just yet. We may do it later on when we get into media queries and stuff uh, like this doesn't really look very good. Contact page contact page looks okay. Again, these should be stacked, but we'll get into that later on. I don't want to start to do things that we haven't talked about yet. Okay, so that's it, guys. Let's get started with the project. Better day. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never seen clearer.